All Saints We're all called to become saints. How do we know this? Well, Jesus said very clearly, Be holy as your Heavenly Father is holy. For this is a command. It's in the imperative tense, if you want to go into grammar. Be holy as your Heavenly Father is holy. Now, Jesus is never going to give us an order or command that we will not be able to carry out. So we have to become holy. The founder of Opus Dei, St. Jose Maria Escobar Balaguer, says that the biggest crisis in the modern world is a lack of saints. So pray that you will become a saint. Also, Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for holiness. They will be filled. Here's another grace that you should beg for. Beg for the grace that you will become holy, as your Heavenly Father is holy. We should have hunger, a hunger for holiness, more than a hunger for physical things. Unfortunately, most people give more time, effort to their physical life over their spiritual life. It should be the other way around. Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be given to you besides. St. Paul says in one of his letters, this is the will of your Heavenly Father, your sanctification, which means your holiness. The beginning of September, Pope Francis canonized St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, a modern saint, the founder of the Missionaries of Charity, one of the most famous women in the 20th century. She said this, Holiness is not the privilege of the few, but holiness is the obligation of all. The fifth chapter of Lumen Gentium in the documents of Vatican II. Lumen Gentium. The chapter 5 is, the title of it is, The Universal Call to Holiness. So let's turn to the saints, the angels and Mary and beg for the grace to become holy as our Heavenly Father is holy. Amen.